lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're giving you 10 tips for getting started in Horizon Forbidden West. Struggling to find your footing in the Forbidden West? Not sure what you should be doing or prioritizing? Perhaps these tips will help you jump into the newest PlayStation title a little bit smoothly. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. Got any other tips to share with new players? Share with us and with them in the comments below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Adjust your settings first. Horizon Forbidden West gives you a hearty amount of settings to toy around with, and we're not just talking about the difficulty. To make the most of your experience, we highly recommend you go into the settings before beginning Aloy's new adventure. PS5 players can alternate between resolution and performance modes, as expected from the new generation of console gaming. If you don't care about tips from the loading screen, set the standby screen mode to immediate so that the game loads as soon as it's finished. For controls, make sure you adjust to the options you want. Everything will be set to hold by default, so you'll have to hold down buttons in order to access the weapon wheel, aim, and much more. But if you want certain actions to be only toggle, you can customize those actions as you please. Obsessive Exploration When you've finally reached the Daunt, it can be tempting to completely ignore the main story and go explore to your heart's content. Lord knows I do that in a handful of my games already. But please, don't do that. Forbidden West is not that kind of game. You'll quickly find that some areas and collectibles are inaccessible as they require certain tools that you won't have at your disposal early in the game. Our advice? Savor it. Focus on the main story. By the time you reach the final boss, you should have most, if not all, of the weapons and tools at your disposal. So just enjoy the narrative, experience Aloy's journey, and save the extra stuff for later on. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Resource Management Upon seeing crafting mechanics, one can safely assume there will be some level of inventory management. A standard expectation to have, yes, but Forbidden West isn't as restrictive as other titles. Even when your pockets are full, you can still collect resources and they will be sent to your stash instead, allowing you to collect them at the next settlement or camp you find. So if you're worried about not having enough of a certain material, don't fret over moving things around and dropping items. You can also upgrade your pouches as you progress in the story and find more areas to harvest resources. Learning the Pull Caster There. Uh, Pull Caster. The Pull Caster is a new tool in Forbidden West, granting Aloy the ability to grapple up ledges, tear down weak walls, or yank out protruding objects. A heads up for you newer players, the game absolutely wants you to use this, and the early game gives you a number of opportunities to learn it. So whether you like it or not, you're going to have to get used to using this thing. Start teaching yourself to look for grapple points and weak structures when you're stuck and can't figure out how to progress. Chances are the Pull Caster is the only way to move forward. Also, make sure you're scanning. Scanning always helps point out places where you can climb and tear things out. The Truth About Dialogue Before you head off into the Forbidden West, you are presented with a moment of choice. Avad and Aloy have clearly been toying with the idea of seeing each other. Ooh, a little romance. Hey. But you know, the world might be on the verge of collapse, so this has to be put on hold. That being said, you're presented with a selection of different responses, a fierce and blunt one, an intelligent one, or an emotional one. This isn't so much an opportunity to branch the narrative and change the story and maybe get multiple different endings, that's not the case. This is rather an opportunity to portray Aloy the way you want to. You don't have to worry about being locked out of particular missions or missing out on unlockable weapons. Ultimately, these dialogue choices are more for letting the player experience the way they see Aloy, whether that be bold, smart, or kind-hearted. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success, and look forward to your return. Go out on the town. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. <laughs> 
In the first Horizon, there wasn't a lot of reason to really stick around towns other than buying and selling with merchants and a few side quests here and there. Forbidden West adds a bit more reason to hang around settlements now. Not only will you meet and catch up with familiar faces, you'll also find opportunities to spend time with the locals. Hone your skills and show off your combat moves in the training grounds, sit down for a rousing game of Machine Strike, or do what any ordinary player does and, you know, loot the place without asking anyone. The choice is yours. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. The thing about skill trees. As expected, Horizon Forbidden West comes with a selection of skill trees as most open world games and action RPGs tend to include. However, it is crucial that you examine these skill trees before spending your first few skill points as it might shape how you approach encounters. One tree increases your melee damage, but how often are you going to take enemies head on? Another will increase your health, but are you good at dodging? Maybe you can go long enough to put off those upgrades for a while. Personally, I immediately started investing in the Infiltration Tree to make enemy encounters easier for myself. Once you choose a skill tree to focus on, worry about unlocking the first Valor Surge ability before you go investing in a second skill tree. Use the Elements Much like the first Horizon back in 2017, Elements are going to be your best friend, but they are not your savior. Sure, they can tack on status effects to turn battles in your favor, however, they don't do as much damage as they did in the previous game. To ensure you come out on top, make sure you're using standard ammunition more than elemental variants. Use elemental ammo too much, and you might land yourself in a heap of trouble, especially if you're going for a stealthy approach. Learn to sparingly use alternate ammo types, otherwise you're going to wind up low on supplies. See green? Grab it! Greenshine Rocks are a new currency in the Horizon franchise, and they are extremely valuable. As you journey across the Forbidden West, you might spot a glimmering green crystal protruding from a rock or underneath a structure. Drop whatever it is you are doing and go grab it before you forget. Greenshine Rocks are immensely valuable in Horizon Forbidden West, as they will help you craft and upgrade more powerful versions of your weapons and gear. Speaking of crafting and currencies, Metal Shards double as both. So don't go spending all of your shards at a merchant when your gear hasn't been fully upgraded yet. So, that prologue. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. Alright, we gotta get a little serious here, okay? We're not gonna lie. Much like a few other open world games, the prologue for Forbidden West can be a bit grueling for some of you, at least if you're an impatient jerk like me. It's incredibly linear and heavy on the tutorials. We recommend you sit down, dedicate some time so that you can blast through it in one go. The entire section lasts roughly an hour, and if you want to get into the open world as quickly as possible, you just need to plow through it. Try and do it in one session if you can. Your future self will thank you when it boots up the game and finds that they can just freely explore and do as they please. Tony, where are you? Finishing this the hard way. Do you agree with our picks? Don't forget to stick around and check out our other videos on Mojo Plays.